The SIUE Solar Car Team is a group of students made up from all different sorts, from all the different schools on SIUE's campus, from the business department to the arts and sciences, that are aimed towards designing a solar car that would be able to compete in the FSGP or the Formula Sun Grand Prix, which is a circuit course that is done over three days with three days of scrutineering. There are several different types of races. There are track races like the FSGP that we will be going on this summer. There are also challenges. Challenges are where the cars are no longer on a closed course, instead it's open on the highways. The Black Nova started off as a senior project design. There was a team of four mechanical engineers here that designed from the ground up our solar car frame and chassis. They welded all of the members, did the analysis on it, and that was the start of SIUE's first ground up solar car. A solar car differs from a regular car in the fact that it really has no protection around it. It doesn't have bumpers, doesn't really have crumple zones. The frame itself weighs 90 pounds. The car fully loaded with driver weighs 610. We are pretty much limited by our motor to about 45 miles per hour and if we get a new motor we should be able to hit 65 or 70. The current Black Nova is almost complete. We need to finish wiring the solar array, wiring up the electrical systems, complete the body and canopy for the solar car and after that we move on to optimization with the electricals and then new design prospects on the mechanicals. This team has a lot of interesting things to do and they actually have a use for people in my major, which is computer science. So they use all kinds of engineers and even people from other groups, which it's interesting to see how everyone interacts together. Most people that start out here don't know how to solder, weld, anything like that. You learn all that here. So um, basically it's for anyone and you can do anything. You get to play with really cool materials, carbon fiber, Nomex honeycomb. Lexan, Kevlar, all kinds of really cool stuff that you just normally wouldn't have access to. Our car is unique in the fact that it's the solo array is completely student built, and completely done by hand, and pretty much everything from this car is student designed, built from the ground up. It's really cool because this gives me a way to apply what I actually learn in my classes to the real world. We're really good at equations, we're really good at math, but this teaches me how to take all of those numbers and actually make them make sense. When you have limited funds, you have to go ahead and make use of your ingenuity, team time, and hard work to get it done. And that's what we've done. Uh, a lot of nights where you sit there just scratching your head, staring at the drawing screen, math, car, broken parts, going, well, how did this happen? Or, hmm. Didn't see that one coming. So you learn how to apply a lot of your theoretical math to real world problems. I'm interested in this kind of stuff because it's, it's hard to do. I mean, you take a car and you push it up to 50 miles an hour on the power of a toaster. And it's kind of like Walt Disney said, it's just kind of fun to do the impossible. And if that's not impossible, well, I don't really know what is. It's, it's about as hard as you can get to still make it possible but it's the challenge.